that you would think everyone would know. You, his mom wasn't educated. He grew up in a football family where it's toughness, and now we want to keep our brains for a lifetime. You're exactly right, and, and the value of good coaching, let the coaches who are certified and know the jobs do their job and maybe not rely on that high school coaching you learned about 20 years ago. I think I think that's a good lesson right there. In Charlotte, we know you've got two boys who played football. Your whole family is involved with football. You've seen a lot of coaching in your day. What happens when that coach maybe does take it a step too far and instills a sense of fear in the family and even in your boys and says, hey, man up, toughen up, get back out there. Yeah, that, uh, you know, all, all of these comments it ring so true. Um, for for me as, as a mom and with my kids because you know let's face it as moms there is not a day or a moment that goes by that we're not worried about our children that's what we do we worry as moms about our children um, it's 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 the worry I put in perspective because now, now as I have older kids uh, who drive you think you're worried now wait till you try to teach them how to drive so there's not a day you are not going to be worried. The worry never stops, as my mom says. The worry never goes away. But you can educate yourself more about it. Michelle is a nurse, so she's an ER nurse. She sees all kinds of, of horrific things. But she has a lot of knowledge about the game. She's confident about her husband playing and about her children playing, so she can make the right decision for her kids. Um, I, on the same hand, with two boys, uh, they played at different levels at different ages because even coming from our household, they were very different from each other. One was certainly not ready to tackle. He didn't like the action of it. Turns out he's actually the better athlete, but he wanted to play flag. He wanted to play flag for a while, and then finally he did that for several years, and he's like, I'm ready. We did not make him play before he was ready to play, and I think that's very important. Listen to your child. They're going to want to run around and love this, and then when they're ready for another step, they're going to come say, I want to go, and that's where you come in. And I think now we can be more confident that we've got coaches, but I have certainly seen plenty of times when my husband as a coach, too, it's also, I happen to be very fortunate that my husband knows a lot about football as well. I'm sure some of you are not in that situation, and you have to be the ones who actually is making that educated decision. But when you see something that you know is not right, you're an advocate for your child. So that's when it comes time for you to put your concern about, am I going to look like the gripey mom? Or am I really doing the right thing for my child and it's time to speak up? So we, we had an incident with our younger child and actually he was playing with Derek Woodson and, and his child. And they both went and they were not the coaches, but they were in a program that was very aggressive, very select. And on the first day of practice, both of them looked out there and said, I don't think they're teaching the right way. Um, they didn't feel like making a big issue about it. They actually told a couple of the coaches, you know, why don't we change things that have evolved a little bit. Let's change. Uh, it's amazing how people who play the game and are coaching the game have so much more wisdom than those who wish they had played the game and think they have all the wisdom about coaching. Uh, when they didn't make the change, they actually took them off the team and they went, went to another team and they started the, their own. Uh, so, so don't be afraid to speak up. Um, I'm not an advocate for running out there in the middle of the game and saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you know your boundaries. You know you make smart decisions. But be aware and be knowledgeable and don't be afraid to speak up for your child. There's a lesson in trusting your gut there. Because at the heart of the matter, we know what's right and what's wrong, don't we, at the end of the day? We know that approach, that it is the right approach and, and the wrong approach to take. And I'd like to circle back to Dr. Major because, like I said to you, I've got you know, a list of notes here <laughs> that I made during um, the uh, your, your presentation. Real quickly, 